The New York Times has an op-ed tribute to Reverend Clemente Pinckney. Professor Henry Louis Gates Jr. once interviewed the pastor who was murdered on Wednesday. Professor Gates calls him a quietly impressive man. He says that if Pinckney had lived, he would someday have been known and celebrated all across his country. Pinckney was also a husband, a father, and a long-serving legislator. We do greet all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. As mourners in Charleston look back on the life of Reverend Clemente Pinckney, service was a word often used to describe how he lived. When not serving the Emanuel AME congregation, Pinckney served his South Carolina constituency as a state senator. And then we have moving toward freedom. He spoke about his goals as a leader with Professor Henry Louis Gates Jr. for PBS in 2012. We have a legacy to uphold, the, the, the people who died so that we could have the right to vote, the people who sacrificed so that we could one day realize the, the, the dream of a black president. History was integral to his life's work. This is where Martin Luther King would come when he was in Charleston. Embracing it from his revered church, while working to change history's course through legislation. After Walter Scott, an unarmed black man, was gunned down by a North Charleston police officer in April. It is my hope that as South Carolina senators, that we will stand up for what is best and good about our state. Pinckney pushed for more visible justice by renewing his call for the use of police body cameras. He brought a calmness to that community. Armstrong Williams is Pinckney's cousin. He remembers the state senator as a man determined to make a difference in government, but being most effective through his pulpit. He always found himself back to that church because he knew that's where he could have the greatest impact with young people, with adults, people who needed spiritual healing. Many of us don't see ourselves as just a place where we come and worship. Pinckney spoke about the relevance of duty in pursuit of values, no matter the cost. Could we not argue that America is about freedom, whether we live it out or not, but it really is about freedom, equality, and the pursuit of happiness. And that's what church is all about. With his church now a crime scene, the desk of Clemente Pinckney's state senate seat became a temporary memorial, cloaked in black and topped with a red rose. It is a tribute from the faithful to a man who ultimately gave his life for the community he served. People trusted him. They respected him. And you know, he's just irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. The people that knew him, guys, said he was an amazing man. That he started preaching at the age of 13, yeah. received his first appointment as pastor at the age of 18. And the irony that everyone says about this man is that he would have embraced yeah. and, and really welcomed Dylan Roof. And Dylan Roof walked into the church apparently and said, which one is the pastor? I want to sit next to him.